About six months ago, my roommate came to me and he said that he thought we were running out of space in the garage and he thought we should put some shelving in. Really what I think he wanted was just some extra space to put his pool noodles. Regardless, he never actually got around to installing it, so that's what I'm gonna do today. So the shelving that we went with, it's about four feet by eight feet and it is adjustable in terms of the height of the shelving. It's made by the company Flexi Mounts. Um, you can find this shelving on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the video description for you as well. When you're putting the shelving together, you're going to want to put two together and two together. And then on each side, you have two bolts there and there. You're going to put those together and then you have these brackets that hold it together on the outside. And this is going to just mount on just like that. And you'll bolt that in. And then you have your instruction manual. This is an installation template, but I actually just used one of the mounting brackets as the installation guide instead and each one of these mounting brackets has a smaller hole on each end and that's where your wood screw is going to go through to mount into those studs. They include a few different options for mounting. One of them is a concrete mounting bolt. This is a concrete expansion bolt so as you tighten it this part right here expands out and holds it in place. I actually have wood studs that are going through my ceiling so I'm going to be using these wood screws. Those will just drill into the center of each stud and hold it in place instead. In terms of the nuts and bolts that they include, you have these rounded ones and those are going to go down the sides of your brackets, give it a little bit more of a flush look. And then all of the other ones are going to have just your standard bolt and nut that go on there. To get this job done, what you're going to need is you're going to want a stud finder to make sure you're drilling into the center of each one of those studs, as well as a tape measure to make sure that you're spacing those mounting brackets evenly. You're always going to want to make sure you have eye protection, that way you don't have drywall falling into your eyes. And then make sure you have a pencil, that way you can mark where you're going to be drilling. Uh, they do include two of these wrenches here, and you can use those, however I found it a lot easier just to use a socket with a 13mm socket on one end, and then using this wrench on the other end to make sure that that bolt's not moving. You are going to need a drill as well. With that drill, you're going to be using a 3 16th drill bit just to do some pilot holes for those wood screws before you mount it into the ceiling. And then, of course, you are going to need a ladder to get yourself up to the ceiling. I'll make sure I link all of this stuff in the video description down below for you if you don't have any of it. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is use your stud finder to make sure you find the studs in the ceiling that you can drill those wood screws into. Now, if you guys are unlucky like I was with this process, I have a stud that runs just along this back corner and I didn't have enough space with that stud to drill into. So what I actually had to do was I had to add some wood in above the ceiling. Let me show you what I had to do. So hopefully you guys don't have to do this, but what I had to do is I actually had to add in an extra two by six along this back stud just to give those wood screws something to actually drill into so I could mount the shelving. So what I did is I just used some three inch wood screws to drill that two by six into the back stud. You can see that back stud there. And that way those wood screws can actually bolt up into the stud. And then in terms of mounting these up, what you're gonna wanna do is after you drill your first one in, to measure the second one, you're gonna take a, your tape measure and put it there and measure 48 inches over. And that's where you're gonna begin your second mount. And then from that point, you're going to take your tape measure and measure 48 inches from that point to the beginning of your third mount. So when I was mounting these, as I said at the beginning, I didn't actually use the mounting template. What I did is I just took one of the mounts itself and I placed that up on the ceiling. I've got the mount placed there and I've took, I took my pencil, put in where that first bolt's going to go. And then I took my pencil and I put in where that second bolt is going to go. And once you find your studs and you've figured out where you're going to drill, what you're going to do is you're going to take your drill bit and you're going to drill that pilot hole in. So I've done it here and what you do is you just figure out where that circle is and just drill that pilot hole into the stud. That way you can take your wood mounting bolt and bolt it in. The best way to make sure that your holes are going to match up is drill that first one and put that bolt in there and then just with your hand hold that down and make sure it lines up with that other hole that you've put. And what I did is I took one of those wood screws and I just punched a hole, a small hole in the drywall. That way I know where to start drilling. That way your bolts line up and they're not off-centered. Now that I have all of the mounts in place, 
what I need to do is put together the arms that are going to drop down from the mounts to hold the shelving. The brackets that drop down from the top go together pretty simply. Basically what you do is you have four of these brackets that have the square in them and those are going to attach up at the top mounting brackets that we drilled into the studs and then you've got four of these brackets that are have this kind of L corner shape on there and those are obviously going to be your corner brackets and those just piece together by the corner bracket laying on the inside of that other mounting bracket that goes to the top and then you're going to get your circular bolts and it's squared on the inside you can see so those are going to go through this way through this square section right here and then you'll have your nut that'll attach on this side and you'll do one on one side and then one on the other side with each of those it gives it a little bit more stability for these L-shaped brackets, you only have two of those, and what that's going to do is you have this part, this L-shaped part down at the bottom, and that's going to attach to the shelving, and then you have this L-shaped part up at the top, and that's going to mount into the mounting brackets on the ceiling, and again, you're going to mount one in at the top, and then one in down at the bottom, and then on that other side, you can see there's just the circular bolts, and this l shape down here is going to attach to each one of these corners on the shelving and that's what's going to hold it together in the middle. Once you have your brackets mounted together you just have to bolt them up to the ceiling where you want to mount it. So you just decide where on this bracket you want to mount it. You're going to bolt it in. And you're going to bolt in your corners, the middle section right there, and then the end brackets. Once you have all your brackets bolted in you're going to put the shelves up and you're going to bolt those in as well. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put the shelf in there and these corner brackets actually have a small spot to kind of hold the shelf in place but the spot in the middle only has these bolts and so you're going to need someone to hold that shelf above your head while you put those bolts in and tighten that in otherwise it's just going to fall down. Once you have your shelves up there, just make sure everything's tightened and secured. That way, once you start loading it up, it doesn't collapse and all your stuff comes crashing down on a vehicle. And you'll be good to go. You can load it up with water weenies, coolers, you can put bikes underneath there, whatever your heart desires. If you guys feel like this is something you could use, just remember I did link everything in the video description below. So if you guys, like us, had a bunch of extra water weenies and you need some extra storage for it, just check the link below. You can find everything there on Amazon. And as always, if you guys found this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then any questions you have, just leave them in the comments down below. Thanks a ton for watching.